Hello and welcome back to God's Basement. So Wait, today we. There's no load game. There's no load game. Well, we've got chapter 3 that we've got to do. There you go, that's oh, where yeah, we can load game. So, yeah, as I was saying, today we're doing chapter 3. The, the Chapter 2 is quite short, isn't it? Yeah, I think that puzzle is because we figured out that puzzle quite fast. Yeah. You know? And we figured out you had to stare at that lady even though he was telling you not to do that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was weird, yeah. though. Like, she proper started shaking loads. Uh, this is where we've ended up now. Now, I see that thing shining on the wall there. It's a TV. I don't know if the guy so, might talk to us through the TV. It seems like the object of the game, it, it's telling you to listen to the operator, but listening to the operator isn't the way to do it. You've got to do it your own way. Yeah, I mean... In a sense. Yeah. Because he does say to, like, ignore things. Oh, here James, we go. It has been some time since I've last seen you around. By now, you should have some idea of the history between your grandmother and your parents. After the accident occurred, there was extreme tension between them. It was understandable given the context of the situation. Your parents wanted some space due to the grief they were experiencing. Your grandmother, dealing with the guilt and loneliness, longed for support and forgiveness something your parents did not grant. I promise we'll get to your part of the story soon. To satisfy your curiosity for a bit, I'll tell you a small truth about God's Basement. God's Basement is a place to reflect on your past life. That statement might be a bit broad, but I'll tell you more as you continue your journey. As for this area, there seems to be a locked door with a keypad. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I'll see you around soon. Good luck. Hmm, thank you. Okay, so, right, number code. Number code, yeah. So it seems like... I might have been a bit right in the last episode. If I remember what I said. What do I say now? It's like a... It's like a journey to um, either hell or heaven. It's, it's like this is where you're getting judged. Right. Okay, so is there any numbers in the past that we've come across? No. No. I don't remember when he died or anything. Alright, let me just try. <laughs> six, six, six. <laughs> Incorrect. Okay. So, there's doors that you can go through, and one of them will probably contain a code somewhere. This is the door we came in, didn't we? Uh... Yeah, it's the door that we came in through. So the code will probably be through down this direction somewhere. But yeah, either, either I was a bit right with that, or you were entirely correct from the start in saying, like, this is your hell. Your version of hell. You feeling a bit scared there, Swinky? Um, You're proceeding very slowly and carefully. Oh. 16936. 16936. Just go through. Okay. So one six. One six nine, nine three, three six. six. You didn't push six at the end. Oh. One. 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 Three. One six. Is it? Yeah. Okay. One six. Nine three six. Nine. Three, ah, okay, it's, it's a four digit. It's not letting you type in that last one. Right, okay. So it was more a, numbers. Yeah, it was more numbers. That was not the one. So we're looking for the four digit code. 1654. 1654? Yeah. Was that what it was? 16th and uh, 54th. It said on the paper. Okay. So, one, six, six. Fifteen, fifty, four. Incorrect. Nope. So, Are you sure? No, that was quite a long number. Hang on. So, what were you just? Fifty four, sixteen. Nope. Hmm. There'll, there'll be a four digit code somewhere. There's got to be. Because that there was more than four. Numbers on that piece of paper altogether. Yeah, we'll have a look at it again. I think there I might there might be other ones. I think I rushed it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not. It's not that. 
Yeah, there's got to be more somewhere. Yeah. Nothing on any of these boxes either. Oh, there. There's one right there. Okay, so it's been torn up. Oh, you got oh, to pick right them there. all up. Okay, you've got another four to find. So that was much simpler than, <laughs> than what we were doing. Yeah, there's noises as well. Ah, okay. There we go. There are three more pieces left. There's one there. There oh. is. Well, you've got to pick them all up and have a read anyway. Yeah. I want to see what this piece of paper says. We're learning the story of what's been going on with this family. Yeah, we're trying to follow the story as much as po possible. Yeah, right now I'm confused as to why you're here, you know? I know you're dead, but it's like you're getting punished for something. And so far, it seems like you're being punished for other people's, like, mistakes and stuff that they've done. So I'm very curious to know what's going on. Wait, right, six out of six. Can you lay them out on the table? There you go. Nice. I yeah, I knew that the table was there for a reason. Dear son, it's been a couple of months since I've received a letter from you. I was curious about James. How is my grandson doing? When will I get to see him? I've been so lonely lately. You said in your last letter that you'd let me see him and that you'd keep me updated. But I'm very, un but I'm unsure you're very. But I'm sure. But I'm sure you're very busy with your career along with raising your child. Please just don't leave without telling me. I might just die of heartbreak if I don't get to see all of you before you leave. I love, Margaret. So, 0911. Hmm. Margaret is the grandmother. Yeah. 0911. There we go. Congratulations. You have opened door number two. Alright. Any more creepy shit gonna go on then? Cause I mean, we're gonna see that woman again, and I'm... That's a oddly placed. Oh, here we go again. This is, this is the teddy. See, you said that it was a, uh, a donkey. That looks like a rabbit. Well, from behind, yeah, I can kind of see why it would look like a donkey. Somebody just knocked on the door. Which one? This one. That one? You can't open it. Okay, uh, you gotta stare at the teddy properly, zoom in on it. Maybe. I've had to do that before. And then something usually happens that's different or appears again. Nothing there. Does that say hi on the floor there? It says hi. Hi! Or it's just uh, an accidental mistake put in. I don't know. That, that actually gave me a bit of a fright. Oh. Can I see him? Oh, bloody hell. So now you've got, like, little teddies following you around and a baby crying once again. Oh, yeah. No. Hello? Go off. Go away. Hello? Oh, he's telling a story. She's been trying to see her grandson, hasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Move away from the door or something? I don't know. I don't like this. Just hide in the corner. That's unlocked. <laughs> Just close the door. Yeah, no, I don't like that. That is horrid. So that light's gonna obviously flash loads and it's gonna go back off. Oh, that's not a nice long corridor. Yep, she's in there. We'll just we'll ignore her. Yeah, we gotta ignore her. At some point, she's gonna get you. I can't ignore her. Ah, uh, that light's gonna go off completely, and she's gonna totally appear right there. Nothing. So can you not pick that up? That's on the floor, or is it just gonna be stuck on the floor? Yeah, it's just gonna be stuck on the floor. There's still a lot of crying going on. I wonder if, like... I wonder if the grandmother was, like, some sort of witch or something. She cast, like, a curse on you. Or is it just, just me, like, going completely off track, trying to figure shit out and doing it wrong? They're all, um, interesting... theories, perspectives. 
She's not there anymore. Well, the light that was in there is no longer flashing. So she's probably still in there. But we gotta go in there now. Have you have you tried opening it yet? Oh yes, no, she's still there. Oh, your light went off, her stayed on. Okay, so that was that was what you had to do. It's kinda like you switched what was going on there. Yeah. This is incredibly dark. Sorry for anyone watching this on YouTube. If you can't see anything, we can not really see anything ourselves. The flashlight doesn't help too greatly on the long corridors. So am I still meant to look at it then? Well, you've done that now. Something's changed and gone different, so you might be able to open that door back there. Uh, it's kind of similar to Visage in that respect. Now, no. where when something's happened in one location, sometimes you've got to go back to another location to yeah. see if it's changed. But I'm, I'm quite confused, once again. Like, that's the point of this game, though. <laughs> Sometimes it's just as simple as waiting. Yeah. Figuring stuff out. That's why I love watching you play these games. I love being able to figure things out at the same time as you. Yeah. That door, is, do you think that might be open now? Openable now? No. Hmm. Can't interact with it at all. And you couldn't interact with that door either. You could do nothing but stare at her. What if you stare at that toy again? Because that's what changed something last time. When I say stare, I mean like just like zoom in on it. Hmm. Can't interact with it, no? No. And you can't interact with that door. What about trying to go back? Okay, so that's something else that you've tried now. Do I have to shut this door? Hmm, quite possibly. Is there nothing on the shelves? Here you can like grab, pick up, look at. Nope. Nothing on that shelf either. Or on this shelf, nothing again. No. Yeah, she's still standing there. Um, before, uh, you had to turn off your flashlight. Oh, is she closer? No, I just went back. Uh -huh. Okay, so you've done something different that's made her back away at this point. That's not you. That was someone else's footsteps there. Okay, so now, now that she's backed away... Okay, is that the door at the end opening up there for you? What the hell? Go back. Because that's where she was trying to break through, whoever it was. Maybe you can get in through this door now. That was a weird scream. Someone got murdered. No, I don't think it was. It's telling a story. It is telling a story, but that the door creaking open, is that the one at the end of this corridor? No, that's the one she went up. Oh boy! You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it? You know you know something's gonna like pop up right in front of you, yeah? Yeah. That's gonna scare the shit into us both. <laughs> Alright, this police. So she, the grandmother, done something. I think she tried killed to the mother. kill the parents or kill the mother. And stole the kid. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And then the police are here. Did you get like put away in an orphanage or? Yeah, oh god. You know that you zoomed in, right? <laughs> Whatever pops up's gonna look a lot bigger. Right, there's no noise. So. Normally, when the baby cries, something happens. I might have to go away from it and come back. I don't know. Seems like it happens. Try the uh, door at the end of the corridor again. Yeah. There it okay. is. 
Sounds like the door that opened was the one that one there. Hmm. Oh, God. Got directions. Forward first. Straight ahead. That no. one's locked. That light's gonna go off, quite obviously. This light is on. No, no. This is the only light that's staying on. Yeah, all the other ones are going off, so you gotta go through this one. No. Nope. It's tricking us. What a horrid sound. What about going back? Once again. What is happening? Okay, you're trapped in here. You're stuck. And we can't see shit. <gasps> no, don't God. acknowledge it, don't acknowledge it, don't acknowledge it. I mean, I think that might be the smartest idea, but if it comes up and touches you... <laughs> we can still hear it, so don't look at it. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I think you did it. Or did you die? Uh, I'm confused. You did it! You did it! Don't acknowledge it! Don't acknowledge it! Yes, yes. first try, end of chapter. Um, Story fist. Yeah. Something's gonna happen here, so... Unless this is the next right. chapter. Yeah, next chapter. There we go. Right. Th th that wasn't too bad. No. It's I mean, getting there though, isn't it? Slowly. Yeah, bit by bit. And well done. Don't acknowledge it. That yeah, was, that that was scary. scariest thing ever. Just facing the door when something's behind you. Rugged. <laughs> Run away. That's what running away is for. Yeah, except... That's what Noodle does. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle runs away. Again, brilliant game. These episodes are much shorter than any of the other games we've been doing lately. So that's fine. Be longer, probably. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. Just like an episode per chapter. I'm happy with that. Outro. If you all enjoyed, then please hit that like button, subscribe, join Discord, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Peace.